I've taken the track and I have prepped it for a paint. I am in the middle of doing the taping, as you can probably see. This is an unfinished tape here. You can see the tape is coming well into the track area there. And this is a finished taping. It's just covering on top of the rails and it's covering the slot, just the slot and the rails. And then right at the end, it's folded over to cover the metallic connectors. You can see here, you can see where I've put black felt marker over the stripes that are in the track and those are all going to go away, which is nice. These are for a nice slick silver gray surface. So now I'm going to continue cutting. The best way to do this is to find there's a there's a neat point right between the rail and the track where the two meet. And if you put your right there you can see it. It's just a nice thin line. Now you can go all the way down this line just like this. Just like this, you just let it guide you along. And once you have that cut, you just take the piece that's left and pull it up. The oddly satisfying part of the whole operation. Yeah. And that puts it right at the edge. Come on, focus in. Right at the edge of your rail, see that? means it's prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna do the other side and then do this stack of guys and I'll be done. Okay, so I have made sections, two pieces a piece, and those have been taped up and are ready for paint. I'm gonna go over one time with a lint-free cloth and get up all of the stuff that's might have been picked up and then going to do some painting. My plan is to do one coat, wait five hours, do another coat. So by morning it'll be dry and it'll be ready to go. For a paint on my track I use a silver gray exterior latex house paint. Get yourself a mini brush or mini roller kit, okay? This one's a little bit too narrow, but it's the only other thing I had they had in stock at the store, but I'll be able to go through this pretty fast and just whip it. So, okay, you just wanna start off by just laying down some paint. I like to do it right down the middle. Nice big glob of it, okay? And then start working off to the sides. Get the edges. Make sure you get those edges. Okay. There's a lot of paint in the tr on the track, so if you need more, get it off of an area section of the track. For example, this. So, you do the ends. I'm just gonna get right up to the edge. You can do it skillfully without much trouble. Okay, now I'm just getting it everywhere. Just making sure it's evenly distributed. The paint dries evenly. It's not gonna leave any streaking or anything like that. But I do like to get it in everywhere because that's important. Okay. Looking pretty good. All right, this is first coat. That works pretty good. Alrighty. And if you're wondering why I use this silver, yuck. it's because I want a light color. I want a cool retro color. Okay. I think it comes out pretty cool. And um, yeah, it's easier to pick the cars up when you're when you're racing. You can see the cars a lot easier when the track is lighter. And it looks kind of like it looks kind of like um, concrete instead of asphalt, or in Carrera Nat Carrera Basic Black Black 
plastic. <laughs> Ready? Let's give this a hose down. Yeah, looking good. I'll do the last piece off camera so as not to bore anybody. And then we're going to hold off for five hours. Let this stuff dry. It's a very hot day today. Might even just do it in four. We'll see. Check it in four. Maybe do it in five. Second coat will be done. And then by morning, it'll be finished.